Hello there. My name is uh, Serge Mucha. I'm a respiratory therapist here at Carolina Small Medical Equipment. And today uh, we'll be doing an instructional video on this new ResMed Air Sense 10 C package. Now, this unit is quite different from the previous model, so let's look at some of these differences. So this is the device. Notice first thing that um, I notice is that humidifier is now built into the CPAP. It's not two separate units, it's one piece. So it's integrated. Uh, here's the humidifier chamber. Uh, comes apart, you take this, open it up like that to fill it up with water. The mark for the level is clearly indicated on the side. Once you fill it with water, still preferably distilled. Uh, clean this same way about once a week or so with mild soapy water or vinegar as you prefer. On, this, on the inside there's also a power cord and an AC adapter. I'm not going to plug these in because I already have mine plugged in. I'll just keep put it back in the bag. And it also comes with tubing of course. It comes with uh, either a slimline tubing which is just a regular hose that allows pressure to pass through or as an enhanced option, you can have what they call a climate line air tubing. And we're going to turn on the machine, zoom in on the screen, I can show you how those two work differently. So uh, the power cord of the machine plugs in in the back here. There's only one place for it. Just take the other end of it, plugs in. And then if you're using the slim line tubing or just a regular tube, uh, both ends are the same. So one end will be attached on the back here. There's only one place for it. And then the other end of it, of course, attaches to the mask. But if you're going to use the climate line tubing, you, you, you want to make sure that this end with uh, some electronics on the end plugs in first, because that means that the uh, tubing is uh, controlled by the machine and you, your heated element is turned on. And it plugs in on top here. You want to make sure that it makes that snap and the tubing doesn't remove anymore and then you can also swivel it around as it's attached. And just like all uh, CPAP machines, uh, this one has a filter, which is on the side here. You just swing this little door down. It's actually the same filter as the previous model, so if, you, if this is a replacement machine for you, you can use the same filters. And it also has an SD card, like they all do. It's just the uh, card here that monitors data for the insurance, for the doctor. And that's really all there is as far as uh, operating the, the little pieces here on the device. Now let's zoom in on the screen and look at some of these options on the screen. Well, one of the biggest changes with this new device is that they've made everything to be pretty much automatic in every way. Uh, humidifier is automatic. It's auto-capable on the pressure. Machine will actually start up and, uh, and shut off by itself when you put on and take off the mask. And so the, if you're one of those people who does not want to be involved on a screen, you don't have to do anything at all. You can just put on the mask, machine will turn on and off as you take off the mask. But there are some things you can look at and change if you'd like. For example, on the sleep report, if we, we'll start with that because there's really not a whole lot here. It just shows you your hours of usage from previous night. And remember, the golden standard in this case, of course, is to use it at least four hours for insurance purposes. Also shows you if your mask was fitting well, if humidifier was working correctly. In the past, we have, some, we have had some issues where since humidifier is automatic, you may not go through the same amount of water each night. So this will just show you if humidifier is working, because sometimes people would wonder if humidifier is even functioning. Um, and so no one's going to ask you to look at this information. You don't have to keep track of any of this data, but it does give you some info on the usage and how well your mask fits. Now, under your options, there are some things you could change. If we go in here, uh, you'll, you'll notice that now ramp time is auto. Ramp time is a feature that allows you to build up on the pressure from minimum to a prescribed setting. And you can have it in auto mode where a machine starts on the minimum setting and goes up only as you're already asleep. Or by turning the dial, you can set it to a, a set setting like say 35 minutes, anywhere between 5 and 45 minutes. Or if you want to be on a, a full blast of pressure or you just want all that air, you can turn the ramp off and gives you your prescribed setting. 
I would recommend starting that on auto and just kind of um, working with that. Uh, climate control is also auto uh, notice and the tubing temperature is auto. So if you if you would like you can just leave all of this on auto and don't be involved at all. Or you can switch it to manual mode and then by switching to manual mode you would have to set the, the tubing temperature separately from the heat plate setting of the humidifier because this humidifier just like them all have a uh, has a uh, heat plate that heats up the chamber and so this number is the uh, heat plate setting and this is the uh, tubing temperature number that's if you would want to have it in a manual mode but I would recommend for climate control to be in auto have the tubing temperature on auto and have machine automatically control all the humidity and pressure and everything uh, you can also tell the machine which mask you're using if you'd like. Uh, this affects how a leak is being calculated on the report. You can have machine tell you how well mask fits. If you have it all attached, you can run a little mask fit. And notice I, I'm doing everything with the dial. Uh, you can you, you push it and dial, push it and dial. I don't press any other buttons. As I scroll through, I highlight it and then go on to the next option. And you can also preheat the system so that when you uh, warming it, when you put on the mask, it's already warm and moist for you. You can just highlight this, push the dial, and it will tell you that it's warming. Or uh, you can cancel that, and it will be cooling down. And the last thing under your options is airplane mode, which uh, yes, you can use the machine in an airplane if you'd like. But more importantly, uh, this new device has a built-in modem uh, for ease of um, obtaining data from your machine that has a built-in modem that uh, transmits data every day on your usage, your mask fit, and so uh, it's an ease of taking care of your pressures and looking at your settings and uh, your hours. But some people feel like th their privacy is being invaded because someone looks at their, at their data. So you can enable the airplane mode and when it's enabled, that disables the uh, transmission of the signal, so no one be looking at your data. But um, usually, people don't do this because the data that it sends out is very basic, and you also have access to that data. So that's really all, all there is on the screen here. Probably the only thing people usually change or, or mess around with is the climate control setting. If they're not getting enough moisture on the auto mode, they would... Um, switch it to manual and kind of tweak the uh, tubing temperature and the heat plate set. Notice also on the bottom of the screen they've added this home button and uh, all it is is uh, if you press it it takes you back to the original screen where you can view your options in sleep report. So if you go into your options and you're done with it you can hit this home button and it takes you back or if you're in sleep report and you're done with looking at this data, you can hit that and it takes you back to the original screen. And as I said earlier, a machine will uh, turn on by itself when it detects your breathing. Sometimes, however, people will take rather shallow breaths or they use a full face mask. And so it takes maybe 10 seconds for it to detect your breathing. If you don't want to wait that long, it also you can start the machine manually by hitting the start and stop button there. And as it starts up, it displays um, your pressure setting. Here's your what your settings are, 4 to 20. In this case, it's just a demo machine. Your humidity setting, your ramp time setting. So everything is auto, and it displays what uh, current setting you're on. Uh, on, a, on the top uh, right corner there, it shows you your, the heat plate is on and strength of the signal from that modem that transmits data. And as soon as you stop the machine, you will, it will display your hours of usage from previous night, your mask fit humidifier um, function. Also, you start seeing there's a little snowflake flash in there next to the signal strength. That's just telling you that a machine is cooling down humidifier. And if you feel the air, it, it kind of blows lightly, cooling down humidifier. And it does that for about 30 minutes, and then the machine turns off. Uh, and that's really all there is on the screen here, your options and the sleep report. And that's the uh, ResMed AirSense 10 
um, in a nutshell. Of course, there's more to it. Uh, there's more little details, like it has uh, a place for a, a pulse oximetry thing. Uh, there's also, remember, this machine has no backup battery. It's, um, it's strictly off the power from the wall. And uh, there's two year warranty on this thing. If something breaks, um, contact your uh, provider and usually they can replace the first two years. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention is under your options, the, the climate control there being auto and all, that only appears on the screen when climate line is attached. If this is not attached on the back, you will not see that uh, climate control being auto. You will see just the heat plate setting and they call it humidity level and it's just numbers from 0 to 8 and that's used by those who decide to use this regular slim line tube and it's not heated so there's really no settings for it all you do with that is adjust the heat plate setting not the tubing at all uh, also notice that uh, they have this other machine AirSense 10 for her it's a machine specifically designed for women works the same exact way the options are all the same the dials the filters all these things are the same it's a little different color but ResMed uh, says that uh, with this air sense for her women have slightly different breathing patterns when they fall asleep especially in the deep stages of sleep and so this machine will compensate for that but it does take uh, same exact filters and same exact climate line tubing and same exact slim line tubing and all the other masks they're all interchangeable but it does look a little more feminine and it has that um, breathing patterns compensation feature that's different from a regular system one uh, regular air sense 10